Yeah, yeah, Insane James here with another Celestial Tournament Guide for Eula. And if you're having trouble with Eula, I'm your help, right here, right now. In this Eula video guide, I'm going to show you how to defeat Eula multiple different ways. Show you some of the easier pets to get, and show you some of my cool pets in my collection. Yeah, let's get to it. Now, a pet that everyone should have in their collection is an Anubisath Idol. It's a crazy good one-on-one -on -one pet. It hits hard. It has a deflection. It could change the weather with Sandstorm. And it destroys dragons with Crush. So that's what we're going to lead off with, folks. Let's crush Eula. Like I said earlier, not only does the Anubisath Idol hit really hard, but it has Deflection. And when you pop Deflection, it puts a shield around you, you take no damage for a whole round. This pretty much guarantees you your win. If you can block Eula's hardest hitting move, you're going to beat Eula. Now from here, you just continue with that strategy. You use Crush, you wait for Eula to launch into the air, and you just use Deflection. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to get a chance to use Deflection one more time before the idol is dead. And then we bring in our Feral Vermling. Now, if you don't have a Feral Vermling, you have to have 250 companion pets total to unlock a Feral Vermling. If you don't have one of those, you can get a Hopling. You can unlock a Hopling. Here's a video on how to get one. The Feral Vermling has Backflip. And if it goes first, which it does, it stuns Eula, which is great. Because now I get to crush Eula down. Yeah, so this fight, that's all you really need, is the idol and the vermling. I threw the soul of aspects in there just for cool factor, and that's why this video guide is great, because I show you more than one way to defeat Eula, so let's finish this off with the vermling, and we'll go to our next fight. I told you Eula wasn't that tough. So let's click the like button. Insane Pain Game really appreciates it. Drop us a comment. You know, let us know with what pets did work against Eula and what pets didn't work against Eula. And this second fight, we're using a Gredris Grell. And that's really all you need is him and one other pet. So that's two fights in a row against Eula where you really only need two pets. The Soul of Aspects from the Blizzard store works really good against Eula as well. It has deflection and is very strong against dragons as well. But I wanted to show the Gredris Grell from the trading card game. So really all you do is punch down Eula. You use punch. And you wait for Eula to just launch in the air and you use phase shift, avoiding this move altogether. And that's a win. And after you take enough damage, all you have to do is heal yourself and rinse and repeat. So Eula's not that tough. You just punch it down, use phase shift, heal, and win. And I know not everyone has a Grell. I just wanted to show it because it's really strong against Eula. It's a cool pet. And if you have none of these pets in this video, I recommend going to get an Anubisath Idol. That's the easiest pet to get in this video. It's probably one of the strongest, and it will help you for leveling pets, beating other trainers, your What We've Been Training For quest. It's just very strong overall, so that's my recommendation, and probably the best advice I can give you for this video is go get an Anubisath Idol. And if you didn't know, Insane Pain Game does giveaways at the end of every month. So make sure you subscribe and tell your friends. Always at the halfway point of every month, we always have a giveaway up for that month. 
So leave us a comment with what pets you'd like to see us give away. We do giveaways, great big giveaways for rare, expensive pets. And we love doing it. So leave us a comment with your pets that you love and what you want to win. What you used against Eula. Click the like button. You know, this is great. We love everyone. Super friends. And the channel's growing nicely. So thank you for your support, everyone. Yeah, it's time to rock em, sock em with clock em. Clock em has a kick, which stuns Eula. And then he uses Haymaker, which has a 50% chance to hit. And when it does, it hits hard. Haymaker. KO. Ding, ding, ding. Now, if you're not familiar with Rock'em, Sock'em, Clock'em, in the Brawler's Guild, once you reach level 4 and beat it, you unlock Clock'em. Now, Clock'em is cool. I want to show you some more of him. Uh, again, he has the kick. So he goes first and he does kick. He stuns Eula. Eula doesn't get a chance to get the uh, reduced damage that it does. And then I get to land Haymaker right after. There's the kick. And here's the Haymaker. Oof. Now Haymaker has a 50% chance to hit. So it looks really good when you connect with it. But if you miss, it does put you in a little bit of trouble for whatever fight you're in. So let's use Kick again and we'll see if Haymaker hits. Swing and a miss. And when you miss, you're stunned. So 50% chance to stun yourself for a round is not very good. And let's bring out the Pandaren Monk from the Blizzard store. It's very strong against dragons, but it's not that effective against Eula. I mean, it's strong against Eula, but it doesn't do that much damage. And that brings us to the end of the guide. Now, if you beat Eula with any other pets, please drop them in the comments. It could help out another viewer. Please click the like button. You know, thank you for tuning in. If you guys want to see other Celestial Tournament videos, here they are. Click, 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 click. And thank you. You know, Insane Pain Game really appreciates the support. Insane James again, showing you some more pet battles, the Celestial Tournament. Everyone take care. Yeah, yeah.